Good morning. Welcome to the premium and public video discussion for today, Friday, July 22nd. I wanted to really nail home the threat here with the heat because this could be a really dangerous situation in terms of not being aware of how dangerous this heat index can be when you're pushing well over 100 degrees. And also there's a concern for power outages because of the intense heat and the power grid just not handling everyone putting on the air conditioner and refrigerators and everything else running uh, combined with just the pressure uh, going on uh, with this whole environment, it can lead to some dangerous conditions. So I just wanted to make it very clear, not all weather events are driven by, you know, strong winds and rain and snow. Sometimes it's just the temperatures that can just be deadly. And that is essentially what we're dealing with here. Now, this morning, we have temperatures ranging from the lower to mid 70s over the interior, upper 70s to lower 80s, basically in your suburbs, and lower to mid 80s already in your urban areas. Winds are light and variable. We have a stalled frontal boundary that is basically going to be weakening into a trough that is hanging around the region. We have some sky cloud cover, but right now, plenty of sunshine out there, but it's already getting very uncomfortable with temperatures. Dew points are so already pushing into the mid to upper 60s over the interior. Along the coast, we already see dew points in the lower to mid 70s, so it is sticky out there. This is the precipital water value, and what I want to show you is that the deep tropical moisture throughout the entire atmosphere is found out here. And this is the edge of our western Atlantic ridge. Back here is where we have our influence behind our stationary front. And here is where we have our humid conditions. Now, when you have temperatures this hot, when we're talking about 90s and close to 100 degrees, it doesn't take much in the way of humidity to really cause some problems. So the idea of dry heat is, well, it's only really a, a, a reality in the desert. And even then, it, it doesn't feel any better, trust me. So when we take a look at our upper level winds, here is our Western Atlantic Ridge that is just dominating and here's our polar jet stream now here's something important to understand not only for this weekend but really all the way on through next week the polar jet stream here is going to be in general a trough over the great lakes and over new england okay so you look at this say okay there's a trough chance for cold fronts to come through but because of the strength of the western atlantic ridge which is now starting to connect with our powerful heat ridge over the Rockies and Southern Plains, that is going to blunt the potential for our cold fronts to push through. So as a result, our cold fronts move through and then they start to stall out. Now, there are two types of scenarios when that happens. One is where the front washes out like yesterday, produces a few showers and thunderstorms, but really doesn't produce much of an air mass change. Or two, the cold front stays strong enough because the trough is just a little bit more deeper, a little bit more amplified, and you end up with a scenario where you have showers and thunderstorms training for most of the day and the potential for flash flooding. We will see both of those scenarios over the next seven days. When we take a look at the satellite pictures, you see the water vapor satellite picture, plenty of dry air, very impressive western Atlantic ridge here. And you can see right on the edge of it, here's our trough starting to interact with the ridge. And confluence and convergence here over the coastal waters is producing our showers and thunderstorms. So we have sinking air here. And this sinking air here is going to limit your thunderstorm potential and enhance your high temperatures. Because sinking air warms and that sinking air over the northern Atlantic is going to lead to our temperatures pushing into the mid to upper 90s today. And upper 90s to lower 100s tomorrow and Sunday. So yeah, like I said, these temperatures are no joke. They can be dangerous. On the infrared satellite picture, you can see that set up pretty nicely here. Here's our thunderstorms out here over the Atlantic. Pretty quiet over the northern mid-Atlantic. And our next cold front setting up for Tuesday is back here. And on the visible satellite picture, this is what we're going to be watching out for. We're going to see whether we're going to get a sea breeze front. Now, the water temperatures here are pretty chilly. We had some upwelling, and that led to some cool ocean temperatures right around the Jersey Shore. And that's going to be pretty interesting because that's going to set up what we call a sea breeze front. A sea breeze front is basically set up like this. This area is cool and dense. Okay, This area is 
hot and rising. So the rising air here has to get filled because of conservation of mass. So the cold weather here, the cold temperatures here relative to the rest of the region, let's say in the 70s, pushes into the Jersey Shore to fill in the rising air that is taking place beforehand. So as a result, you get what we call a sea breeze front. Now, sometimes with the sea breeze front, we get what we call cumulus clouds, those puffy white clouds, right? They start to form right along Jersey Shore and right around uh, portions of Long Island. And sometimes, especially in this scenario, you can get the potential for thunderstorms to spark as a result of that sea breeze front. And so when you get that set up, these thunderstorms aren't going to move very fast and they can produce a lot of rain because of all the moisture in the atmosphere. There's plenty of instability. Really, all you need here is a trigger, and that trigger might be that sea breeze front. So we're going to, have to definitely watch out for that today, tomorrow, and Sunday. Other than that, the primary story here is hazy, hot, humid conditions. So taking a look at our model data, again, here's the point with that trough. You see how it tries to dig, but it just gets pushed back north by the Western Atlantic Ridge. Here we go on... Tuesday, Monday night into Tuesday, a trough tries to dig in again, runs right into that Western Atlantic Ridge. Now notice, at different levels, you have a lot of PVA that's lifting, and you have a nice thermal gradient. So this sets up the potential for, for uh, training showers and thunderstorms Monday night into Tuesday. And yeah, we get a little bit cooler, you know, uh, we fall back into the 80s. You know, it is still summer, so we're still going to have plenty of, uh, even with the cold fronts moving through, it's still going to be pretty muggy out there still. And because of the Western Atlantic Ridge remaining strong, you can see that 850 millibars, that's going to mean that, yeah, we cool down a little bit. We're not near 100, we're more like near 85, but it's still humid out. So, unfortunately, this hot and sticky weather pattern is going to remain in place all the way through the end of the month which basically takes us to the end of next week and you can see we have polar air just waiting here over the northern great lakes but we remain under the influence of the western atlantic ridge with temperatures generally in the mid 80s to lower 90s with plenty of humidity and plenty of threats for thunderstorms so let's walk through this forecast for today Hazy, hot, and humid. Watch out for an isolated shower or thunderstorm, possibly around a sea breeze front. Temperatures will rise into the upper 80s to lower 90s over the interior, upper 80s to lower 90s along the coast, and mid 90s in the Delaware River Valley and in your urban areas. For tonight into tomorrow morning, look for sky cloud cover, possibly a little bit of patchy fog. Look for lows in the mid 60s over the interior, and lower to mid 70s along the coast so yeah it's going to be muggy once again and then tomorrow rinse and repeat sky cloud cover watch out for an isolated thunderstorm along the coast other than that it is going to be hazy hot and humid with high temperatures in the lower to mid 90s along the immediate coast mid to upper 90s over the interior and upper 90s to near 100 degrees in the delaware river valley and in your urban areas for Sunday, rinse and repeat. Some patchy fog in the morning, possibly an isolated shower or thunderstorm in the afternoon via our sea breeze front. Other than that, hazy, hot, and humid with low temperatures ranging from the lower to mid 70s over the interior and mid to upper 70s along the coast. Look for high temperatures to range from the mid, should I say, upper 80s to lower 90s along the immediate coast mid to upper 90s over the interior and upper 90s to lower 100s in the delaware river valley on monday a cold front will approach with increasing cloud cover and showers and thunderstorms developing towards evening this is our slow moving cold front i was talking about look for low temperatures in the mid 70s to lower 80s high temperatures because of increasing cloud cover will range from the upper 80s to lower 90s over the interior mid to upper 80s along the coast and lower to mid 90s in the delaware river valley on tuesday look for waves of showers and thunderstorms as our cold front slowly sinks south more so towards the let's say southern side of long island central southern new jersey philadelphia metro less as you head for the interior 
Look for temperatures to range from the mid to upper 60s over the interior, lower to mid 70s along the coast. High temperatures will range from the mid 80s throughout much of the region. A few upper 80s are possible around the Philadelphia metro. On Wednesday, that cold front really doesn't move all that much. Watch out for an isolated shower or thunderstorm or than that, a mix of sun and clouds. Look for low temperatures in the lower to mid 60s over the interior, upper 60s to lower 70s along the coast. High temperatures will range from the mid 80s along the coast, upper 80s to lower 90s away from the coast. And on Thursday, another cold front will approach from the west. This will lead to scattered cloud cover with a threat for a few isolated showers and thunderstorms. Low temperatures will range from the lower to mid 70s. High temperatures will range from the lower to mid 80s on the immediate coast, upper 80s to lower 90s away from the coast. And on Friday, a cold front will slowly move through the region with scattered showers and thunderstorms. Look for low temperatures in the lower to mid 70s. High temperatures will range from the lower to mid 80s along the coast in upper 80s to lower 90s away from the coast. That is your forecast discussion for today. Have a wonderful day. Have an awesome weekend. Just stay safe out there. And as always, stay safe out there. Have a good one.